Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nisha Nova here. And today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Um, I'm starting a weight loss journey. Um, so today I'm going to be recording like, you know, what I'm going to be eating for dinner to kind of help me on my journey. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, to jump start my weight loss journey I am going to be trying the Chloe Ting two week ebb challenge and I'll record that for you guys as well but right now I'm gonna kind of prep my dinner for the next couple of days today is what Monday the I want to say the 11th or the 12th it is Monday April 12th so I'm gonna prep my dinner for the next couple of days so, if you're interested in seeing how I cook up this red snapper, just keep on watching. Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> for the fish, I'm going to be eating it with vegetables. I'm going to bake the fish in the oven. But before I do that, I do want to make the vegetables to kind of stuff in the fish or put in the foil packet. So, here I just have some onion, tomatoes, and then I have a small... Um, habanero pepper pepper or you can use like the Jamaican hot peppers but I didn't see that so I have a habanero which has good flavor I have some spinach some mixed vegetables and I'm also going to be using this fish flavored soup mix and I'm going to start that right now so I can have it cool down in the pan and this is a snapper I bought they're um, still frozen so right now I have the pan on like a medium high heat <clears throat> and I'm just going to start off with the onion and then the pepper. I like my food kind of spicy or at least my red snapper so I'm going to put the pepper in for the whole time that everything is cooking. And I just kind of use vegetables that I had in the freezer. I wanted to use the rest of this onion and then the tomato as well. I probably should have let the pink in a little bit hot, but it's good. And the seasonings I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using some sea salt. I have some ground black pepper. And then some thyme leaves. And I might not use too much of the salt because I believe the soup mixture is flavored with salt. Let me just double check. It does have a little bit, but I'm just going to add some more just to, I think salt kind of helps bring out um, the flavor and whatever you do. So I'm just going to add a little bit just because this is basically the only seasoning I'm going to be using for the fish, whatever goes inside this mixture here. So I don't want them to get too soft because they are going to cook in the oven more when I um, bake the fish. But I do want to break them down a little bit to make sure that the mixture is getting flavor. <clears throat> I'm just going to turn the heat up a little bit more since I'm going to be adding some hot stuff. That pepper is really going to my throat. I'm going to add in some spinach and since this is going to be my vegetables, I'm going to do about like half of the pack. So about that much. And then I'm going to add in the mixed vegetables. <clears throat> and I'm going to do maybe like a quarter. 
And there should be a good amount for the three pieces. So it's really like <clears throat> a lot of vegetables, a good amount of protein. But still keeping, you know, the calories low so I can create that deficit to lose weight. And I'm still going to add the tomatoes as well. But I don't want them to cook too much. So I'm going to add them in last. And here I'm just going to sprinkle in a little of the pepper. I'm not really one for measuring. I kind of just eyeball things. And adjust as I go on. And a little bit of salt. And then some thyme. I would usually prefer to um, use fresh thyme, but I don't have any. So, this is going to be it. And it kind of gives like the island flavors, but it's still healthy because it's vegetables and, you know, steamed fish or baked fish. So that's kind of breaking down and I'm going to add a little bit of water when I add the soup mixture and then I'll probably let that go for about maybe 10 minutes and I'm going to add the whole pack to this because like I said this is the um, only seasoning I'm going to use for the fish. I don't know, it seems like a lot, but once I add the water, it won't be, and then you gotta remember, it's gonna be the liquid for the fish and the vegetables, so it's nice and moist and not dry. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure how much that is, but it's like a little Pyrex bowl full of water. I would say about a cup or a little over a cup, and I'm just going to add that in here. And mix that around. I freaking love this with my fish. Um, if you get a chance to make it, please do so. It's really, really good. So I'm going to let this go for about 10 minutes. Let it come to um, a little boil. And then we'll come back and check the flavor on it guys so it's been about 10 minutes and we're getting a little bubble in here so I'm gonna do a taste test and see where we are with the flavor mm, it tastes re really really good really really good oh and it got a nice little spice to it now if you don't like spicy food and you try this recipe you can remove the seeds from the pepper or just add it in close to being finished so it doesn't cook that long with the vegetables so what I'm going to do I'm just going to add um, some garlic powder
but it really has a really nice flavor. And that, I believe, you know, is the fish soup. And then the added salt just kind of helps boost the flavor. <clears throat> so now I'm going to add the, um, the tomatoes in. And I wish I had more, but like I said, I just kind of used what I had in the refrigerator left over. And I'm actually going to let this cool like this. The tomatoes will kind of cook with the... Um, the heat while it's cooling down so I can prepare the fish later. I actually might have made too many vegetables, but we'll see. But you can never go wrong with vegetables. And if I can always freeze this mixture and use it for fish later. So I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to just let this do what it do and then once the fish is ready to be prepared all right guys so we're back and the mixture has cooled down and then to rest the fish i'm just gonna um take a little bit of the mixture and lay that on the foil to create like the base for the fish for a bed. And then I'm just gonna take one piece and lay it on top. And I'm gonna go back in and put more vegetables on top. I would usually um, stuff the fish with the vegetables, but the cavity isn't that deep. And if you want, you can season the fish, but I'm not going to because I kind of want this seasoning from the vegetables to be the only seasoning that I use so I can get more of the freshness from the fish. Okay. And that's a good amount. Let me cover up <laughs> his mouth a little bit. Get some of that goodness in the front. Okay, so that's good. And then I'm just gonna wipe the fish like so. I don't need to take this for you. And then I'm gonna fold this part in. And then the back end that I do have. Two pieces of foil here. I have two pieces of foil here so I can kind of go another way and wrap it again to secure it a little bit better. And that's about it. So I'm going to put the rest of them all in their little pockets. And then I will show you the finished product. As yes, I just took the fish out of the oven. And I baked it at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. So it should be nice and done. So let's unwrap the foil and see what we have. Let's see all that juice. This is 
about to be good. Mm. A nice, healthy, flavorful dish. Ooh, that's hot. Perfect for weight loss. So let's what I've moved that vegetables and you see the fish is nicely done, not overcooked, is moist, nice and flaky. So I will be eating this for dinner for the next three days. I'm tempted to take a bite. I wasn't ready to eat just yet, but let me take a bite. It looks so fresh. I know it's going to taste good. Definitely fresh. It has nice flavor to it. And it's nothing but fish and vegetables. So it's definitely a good meal for weight loss. Or even just to enjoy if you like fish. And look at all that juice and the fish tastes amazing and I didn't use any seasoning on the fish alone just on the vegetables that's so good all right well this is what I'll be eating for dinner for the next three days um, I'll show you guys what I eat for breakfast and lunch if you like this video make sure you thumbs up and subscribe